So, in today's video, I'm going to be going through things you guys didn't know in Greenville's new update. There's actually surprisingly a decent amount of things here to go through. But before you get into today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are on the road to 18.9k subscribers, so it would be greatly appreciated. We are almost at 19k subs. It's honestly unbelievable, so thank you guys so much. And also, for those of you guys who want to join my Discord server, make sure to do that in the description below to stay up to date with all my future content and all Greenville's other information. But anyways, let's get straight into it. So, the first one here is that any of the new fictional Corvettes that have an interior available actually have a secret within the interior that if you press G on your keyboard, it actually activates interior lighting, and as you keep pressing G, it activates different lighting colors as well. And yeah, overall, very interesting. Greenville has been doing this with quite a few fictional cars recently, which is definitely nice to see. I pointed this out in my last video, but I kind of wish it was more obvious that, you know, you could actually do this. As you know, not everyone will know that you have to press G to be able to activate this, so. Also, while I'm here, I may as well show you guys this, but over at Burger House, believe it or not, there is actually a new remodeled sign. So, as you guys can see, it does look ever so slightly different. For the update, I'm pretty sure the logo was like slightly different and yeah there is definitely something different about it honestly i can't really pinpoint what it is to be honest because i mean i never really paid attention to the old one either but it is definitely updated so it's definitely kind of cool additionally at the sign over here in front of the burger house building i'm pretty sure that the sign has been updated so not on this side but on the other side it says hello stop on in which i don't think that text was there before or at least i think it was something different before this has changed pretty frequently though so that's not really a huge surprise i guess next up is actually a pretty popular secret in the update and that's that if you go over to your jobs and change it over to he energy worker and actually select the job nothing will seem different at first but if you go into your car inventory you'll see that there is actually a new car there so this is actually the new energy job car and it's essentially like based on that red bull mini that they actually have in real life with like the red bull can at the back this time obviously though with energy branding it also looks pretty similar to the easter vehicles that we've gotten in the past as well and this car is actually completely free obviously you do have to have the job equipped to be able to use it but for those people who are just starting out with the game it's actually a pretty sick vehicle as it does actually have some pretty good performance surprisingly i mean as you guys can see here I am topping out at around about 150 miles per hour, which is pretty sick. And honestly, I don't really expect performance like this out of a free vehicle. Usually for these job cars, the performance is pretty average. So for those of you who want like a sleeper vehicle and aren't that rich yet, I definitely recommend this. And it's also a pretty good grinding vehicle as well, surprisingly enough. The only major downside is that it does look a bit weird, but now the next one is actually involving the new event app feature that was added within this update. A lot of people were complaining about how like a big notification sound pops up on your screen when you host an event. And this is something that I was also personally really worried about but turns out that they actually added a new option which is actually in this gameplay section right here in the option settings and when you click on that it actually has a option called event alert type where you can either have ui and chime chime only or ui only so essentially the way how this works is for this one you'll have the ui up top and the sound as well for this one you'll only have the sound and then for this one you'll only have the ui and then also you can obviously just turn it off completely so then you don't have to worry about events so this is definitely great in my opinion the next one here is that over at the factory pulse building if we actually go to the right side here over to the trash can area you guys will actually probably already notice but one of them is tipped over greenville seems to add secrets like this quite frequently where they just randomly tip over objects pretty funny if you ask me but it is still fully functional though so you can still throw away items and stuff like that but yeah obviously it is just tipped over also inside of the club if you actually go up to the dj booth area you can actually control the music now to do this you do have to actually equip the job alongside it which is called the factory pulse employee and when you select that then you can actually go up to the dj booth thing right here and if you get it right you'll see use turntable and you can actually completely control all of the music right here and cue different stuff and yeah it's overall really cool so you basically like click on whatever song you want to cue and then you click this button right here and it cues it for some reason you can't skip songs which i find to be unfortunate hopefully they'll add that in the future but for now it is still pretty cool and then you can press this little like pause button to exit the menu and i can't play it for copyright reasons but it does actually obviously play the music around the club which is definitely really cool hopefully they add some sort of system like this to how houses in greenville as well because i feel like that would be really cool but yeah let me know what you guys think the next one here is kind of an unfortunate one that a lot of people were pretty sad about it's actually that a brand was removed from the game within this update now luckily this brand wasn't anything crazy and it did only have one vehicle in it but if we actually go into the dealership this brand was actually called andre as you guys can see it is no longer here and when we try searching it up as well nothing comes up anymore and this brand was mainly just removed due to precautions which has happened with a lot of other brands so once again it is unfortunate but there isn't really much we can do about it sadly also on the note of car brand removals recently there has been rumors going around that dodge might get removed and i can tell you with almost 100 certainty that at least for the foreseeable future this isn't actually going to happen the only way how dodge could actually get removed is if they send a dmca over to greenville otherwise there is essentially no way a lot of players have been speculating that it will get removed because of this other brand getting removed primarily since they are under the same parent company as each other so i mean sure it is understandable to think this but since this brand was removed purely because of precautions and not because of any actual dmca 
GTA. This does mean that Greenville is currently in the clear at least. So yeah, for those of you guys who are worried about that, do not worry, at least for the time being. I heavily doubt that it will be removed anytime soon at least. So you guys can hold on to your dodges for a little bit longer. I'm only really mentioning this because I did see a lot of people talking about this and they did seem uh, very worried. Obviously though, I can kind of understand why all this panic was taking place as dodge being removed from the game would be quite a severe moment. Like, I mean, dodge has so many cars in Greenville. And I mean, this may not seem like a lot, but considering how many cars we've already had removed from the game, having all of these on top of all the other ones removed would actually be pretty tragic. And plus, a lot of these cars are very popular. For example, we have all the Dodge Chargers. We also have the Dodge Durangos. We have the Dodge Rams, obviously. We have the Challengers, etc, etc. So it would honestly just be very, very bad. So although it probably won't happen, which obviously we all really hope it doesn't, if it does, then yeah, it's going to kind of suck. Additionally, in the dealership, if you actually go inside and look at the new Rolls Royce, which for this one, you can actually just buy the vehicle, but for those guys who don't want to, you can just look at it here. Anyways, at the front, there is actually a little emblem right here that does show the creator of Greenville, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to like represent the spirit of ecstasy, which you see on the real life Rolls Royces. So this is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure that this was also on the original Rolls Royces as well, so it's definitely nice to see it back now. And then for the final two things you might have not known here, within the dealership, typically cars will have this roadmap plate on them that obviously shows that they are being sold by the roadmap dealership. But for whatever reason, with this one new fictional BMW, it actually still has the basic Wisconsin plate on it. Obviously, it is completely empty, but it's quite weird that this is like the only car that doesn't have the roadmap plate. And what's even weirder is that if we actually go up to the side window right here and look up here, you can see that performance is actually misspelled as performance instead. Obviously, most likely just a basic typo, but it's still kind of funny in my opinion. And especially the fact that the update has been out for like two days or so now is the time of me recording this video and the issue still has not been fixed. Obviously, not a big deal whatsoever. And in my opinion, it is just kind of funny. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Hopefully, you did all enjoy this one. If you did, make sure to leave like and subscribe as we are on the road to 18.9k subscribers. It is crazy how much we're growing. Thank you guys so much. And then, once again, like always, my Discord server is in the description below for those guys who want to stay up to date with all my future videos and all the Greenville's update information. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.